Hey folks, welcome back to the podcast. In today's Flashpoint, we're catching up with an epic brand from the Emergency Services Show. It's Tough King. Who, if you didn't know, have been making boots for 165 years. They serve the police, the uniform services, general safety, outdoors, and of course, firefighting boots. They had some epic stuff on display. It's awesome to catch up with Tough King. They are going to be coming on as a future guest of the podcast. So today is our chance to catch up with them and give you that insight. Keep your eyes peeled for them coming up. They are going to be a regular feature. I've got a feeling about this with Tough King. Love the brand, love the attitude. So I hope you enjoyed today's Flashpoint. Be sure to look out for other ones coming up soon. And a word to the wise, today's Flashpoint was brought to you by William Wood Watches, the makers of those beautiful fire service watches. The company with the vision to create beautifully crafted British luxury watches made from upcycled firefighting equipment. After to today's flashpoint be sure to jump on over and check them out williamwoodwatches.com let's get in there and take a listen my name's julian bartley i'm the very grandly titled vice president of european strategy vice for, president of european strategy absolutely bit of for a mouthful king. so for tough king so tough king is one of the oldest brands of fire boots in the country. Uh, the, the brand was actually uh, brought into, into manufacture back in 1955. Jesus. So it was the first fire boot manufactured by a British company back in 1955. That's a hell of a game. What is it that's so important about it being a British company? Because I know we've moved yeah. a lot of manufacturing. We've lost a lot of those skill sets. We, we, and shoemaking and bootmaking is like one of the oldest ones in we, the book, surely. We have. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of it's got to do with price. So, uh, you know, the the majority of products now are manufactured offshore. Yeah. So we have our own factories in Italy where the fire boots are actually manufactured. Yeah. Uh, and we also have our own factories in India where the wider tactical footwear range is now manufactured. So you spoke about fire boots there, but it's yeah. not just that you do. No. I'm looking around now. No, absolutely. We've got frontline sectors, we've got military, we've got police. Absolutely. Who are the sort of people that the company serves? Yeah, so what, what we've done is we've, we've taken the heritage and the background that we've had uh, from the Tough King brand. Mm. And we've now launched at the show today the, the new Tough King range, which is branded T55. See that on some yeah, of the boxes, so yeah. T55 pays homage to the first fire boots made in the UK market That's back in it. 1955. And what we've done is we've worked really hard over the last two years to pull together a range of products that ticks every box in the emergency services sector. Yeah. So the range really does appeal to the police force, fire service for mm -hmm. boots that are worn around the station okay. from a safety and a non-safety perspective, and also to the ambulance service as well. So, Because I think for us, some of them have been horrific in the past. I'm desperately trying in our service to, to switch away from, I know you guys still offer some shoes and stuff, but a lot of yeah. the stuff I'm looking at now offers a significant more amount of ankle support Absolutely. than the shoes. The shoes that we used to get given on station when I first joined 13 years ago, <laughs> just terrific. Yeah, they had a steel toe cap, yeah. but they were horrendous. And when you're on concrete floors yeah. in an appliance bay in and out all day, yeah. it's not a lot of fun, whereas these look significantly more comfy. <laughs> no, absolutely. Well, I think, you know, from a, a footwear manufacturing perspective, a lot of the technology that we now utilize has been taken from a lot of the sports footwear manufacturers. Okay. Yeah. So the latest range of emergency services, uh, safety and non-safety footwear that we're bringing out at the show today mm. are built on what's called a, a training shoe last. Okay. So very much more athletic, a lot lighter in weight. So hopefully giving the emergency services workers uh, a boot that uh, will keep the feet It's safe nice to see that we're actually acknowledging the fact that a lot of them, they are, you know, when a, when a police officer has to go from yeah. standing around for six hours, not that they do, yeah. but into a dead sprint pursuing somebody or as a firefighter has been sat on a couch for half an hour at lunch because we're yeah. just as bad and then we're expected to run down on the fire engine you know, yeah. and then be out on the job. There is an immense amount of athleticism that goes into the job and it feels like historically we didn't used to acknowledge that and the footwear didn't really reflect it. No, absolutely. Well, you, you can see from uh, <laughs> you know what you'll have seen 13 years ago to what we're bringing out today, yeah. a, a huge sea change. Yeah. You know, and I think just in terms of the weight of the, the boots today, you know, they are comparable to the sports shoes that you wear down the gym, yeah. which again is important for the job that you guys do. like you're dragging them around day to day otherwise. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely. So hopefully we're going to have um, some of the guys at Tough King on in the future. Final thing I wanted to ask you. Yeah. We're here at the Emergency Services Show. Yeah. What do you guys enjoy most about working in the emergency services sector? I, I think it's having an opportunity to, to give to a, a set of people that give so much to the rest of the country. You know, and I think that, that has really driven us through this project to create a range of safety footwear wider than the fire boots that we've been recognized for over the last 60 years yeah. to actually give them a range of uh, footwear solutions that can literally tick every box. 
and look after those feet every day for you. Beautiful. Love it. Thank, Thank you. you very much, boss. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.